Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to May. What, the, what is the second? I lost track already. <laughs> and this is the July Lioness. Hope you guys are doing well. Uh, last month got a little um, foobard. Well, not foobard, but different off schedule, different schedule last month because I wanted to try and get some more people watching these videos and maybe subscribing to the channel and I did all right I got about 10 more people yay and so I um what I was doing was a vlog every day in April with this um challenge that this company put out and you know I I did a few vlogs and thought I liked them and all but um I don't know. It was, wasn't really my thing, I guess. So we're back to Choco Chat, and I'll do Choco Chat. I don't know. Maybe I'll do uh, like once a week or something. Maybe Saturdays are a good day. This is Saturday. Can't do it tomorrow. That's spore day. Nope. <laughs> uh, Fridays. I don't know. Really, my time is my own. So, but um, um, people weren't don't watch my videos a lot maybe some people I have problem they have a problem with length which I think is really a sad reflection of what our society has become um, people are so have such short attention spans now there you all you hear is you know ADD ADHD it's like attention deficit this that and the other and uh, that's pretty sad. People are really impatient. You know, they stand in front of the microwave screaming, hurry up. <laughs> wow. I still am amazed. You know, I love the microwave. Oh, you said it puts out, what is it, EMFs or something and it'll kill you. <laughs> oh, well. Anyway. Um, but if... Uh, longer videos aren't your cup of tea um there is in the and i just found out about this recently it's sort of a little hidden secret if you look at the youtube player there's that gear icon click on that and there's all kinds of interesting goodies in there you can actually speed up or slow down the video you're watching it you you can make it twice as fast or like half as fast <laughs> <laughs> I watched one of my videos twice as fast and it was it made me tired <laughs> I mean you could understand what I was saying but my speech was very very clipped and my actions of course were very you know it was very and you know maybe some people with the ADHD would be into that kind of things like do it fast do it fast I don't have time I don't have time <laughs> Whoa, how can I just, whoa, chill, man. <laughs> You're blowing my bliss here, whoa. So yeah, Choco Chat, here's the Choco, and you've already been getting the chat. Um, I think I'll hold off on my Choco till later. Uh, I don't feel like any Choco right now. And um, as I've said, I don't do coffee or really caffeinated stuff because it makes me feel really strange I just uh, uh, oh I hate that <laughs> I drink milk it keeps me mellow mellow milk and I do like the sugar though I mean I, too much sugar I know I eat too much sugar um uh, but that's just the way I always have I have been always a sugar and milk lover <laughs> but not coffee I like hot chocolate in the, when it's cool. I mean, the weather is cool. I don't like, no, because cool hot chocolate would just be chocolate milk, pretty much. <laughs> oh, don't be <feed> me. <laughs> oh, wow. I know the nervous types are like, what's wrong with her? Why she talks so slow? Why isn't Zignet jumping around? <laughs> Why is she laughing and making dopey jokes? <laughs> Cause that's, cause, cause that's what I do. <laughs> um, 
I just did my nails. This is very radical. Blue, what? Oh, wow, what? Yeah, that's a little weird for me, but I'm in a weird mood. Um, these have little bits of glitter in them. They have a pink version. I got the pink version too, but um, it, I don't know. Now these feel better. When I do the pink ones, I think I put, see there's like a jar, a little, it's two little jars latched together. And they, like they share a cap or something, anyway. But one half is the solid polish and the other bottle is the glitter that's suspended in some kind of, I guess, clear polish. So you don't have to add the glitter. Well. I tried different things and I tried the pink. I like the pink better, but the glitter on the pink is very rough. And so it seems to kind of flake off very easily. I'm not sure. Maybe I, so I was thinking maybe I was putting too many coats of polish on. Now what I have done also in the past was I put in, um, a base coat, a clear base coat, and then I would put the solid color and then I'd put the glitter on top and I ended up with maybe like five coats on my nails total from the, for the various layers of, you know, stuff. And they would really, they just kind of like come off in chunks. <laughs> so that doesn't work. <laughs> oh, well, practice makes perfect, I guess. I've never been too much into nail polish, um, but I was thinking since I've been doing videos where you only see my hands, then, you know, people are staring at my hands and I'm like, well, that's not very attractive and that's kind of boring. You could need to, you know, really scrub your nails or do something, you know, or add a little color down there. I've, some people have these cool like wristbands that they wear like leather ones and stuff and say that'd be cool so I looked for some of those but I couldn't really find one that appealed to me that was you know reasonably priced because I'm not gonna spend you know a ton of money on something as frivolous as that so anyway what have I been doing aside from the vlogging almost every day and getting frustrated by it? Uh, I joined Stampin' Up and I've been having fun with that. I've always loved um, stationery, pens, and stuff like that. And um, my project today is to conquer conquer the ugly mailer. <laughs> Isn't that a gross color? It's just kind of, what is it? Yellow, brown? No, it's screaming for something attractive and so I've been experimenting and I haven't really gotten success with it yet um, but I got a, a big stencil with of flowers on it it's beautiful it's 12 by 12 it's just beautiful it's made by uh, dear Lizzie and the plat the you know the plastic is actually pink which is nice because it shows up well uh, so I've been playing with that and I have, I got some ink refills from Stampin' Up. See, I have a discount because I'm a demonstrator. Mm -hmm. So I got a bunch of those of ink refills and I got little spritzer bottles. So you, what you do is you put a bit of water in a spritzer bottle and then you put ink in and mix them together. So I think I haven't gotten quite the right formula yet. I think it's sort of like two parts ink to one part water so that it will flow a bit more. So what I do is I put the stencil over the big postal mailer and um, then I spritz through it. And right now um, I'm waiting for my second attempt to dry. What I did originally was I took my, I, because I used to do this but not with the padded mailers. But back in the '80s, I used to do this with just the white and the white mailers, not the craft paper ones. But you can get white ones. I think that you can still. 
so the colors are a lot better but I would take a brayer and roll it in the stamp pad and then roll it roll it on and if you can get a rainbow stamp pad that's even better though there seem to be hard to find now but you, I could make my own I'm pretty sure I can get a, um, a dry pad from Stampin' Up! and use the reinkers to create my own. However, there's not as much ink in those. You really have to, they dry out a lot faster. Um, so that will be another experiment. So first I took the brayer and just tried to roll over one of these padded envelopes. And, you know, there's all this, what is that, bubble wrap, yeah. There's bubble wrap inside of these, and so of course it's very textured. It's not completely flat, so you get the texture of the bubble wrap showing through, which is okay, but not super attractive. Uh, so I did the front and the back with my with the green. I was sort of not was not really in love with it, but it, it did. Um, reduce the, the yucky postal craft paper color anyway so now it's kind of a kind of a muddy green so I let that dry for a while and then uh, I decided I was going to spritz my flower stencil through there and I used dark purple purple against a, like an olive green background so I'm waiting for that to dry. Okay I'm not sure how easy this will be to see but here okay we start out with of course this color but this is the wrong size envelope so then I rolled over it in green and I got this and then I set it aside for a while and I remember my stencil. Stencil. So I let's see how I do this. So I put the stencil against the envelope this way. <clears throat> and I spritzed green ink over the stencil and resulted with this. Not too bad. You can see pretty well. But I still have a lot of the yucky craft color. So my so then I went back to this one, which is pretty much just plain green, and I spritzed dark purple through there. And it's this isn't dry yet, but it's coming up kind of interesting and parts are going to show through and parts are not it's pretty subtle so I don't know oh and you can on the back that's this was actually green I guess I spritzed green on the back and you can really, it's very, barely, barely seeable. So anyway, this is just going to, something going to, it's going to be mailed. And I thought whatever side is prettier, I will leave to be <laughs> admired, <laughs> hopefully admired. And then we'll address, put the address on, label on that side. So it just... Now this one probably is the one I'm going to actually send. Send. So that'll be the pretty side and this will be the, the business side. And I might do more to the business side, but there's a little bit of ink on here anyway. A little bit of oopsies. So the label will cover that. So that's the project. I'm doing all this is it's a pocket letter which I think I can get open. So I got from Stampin' Up! an envelope punch board. And I'm so happy because I've always wanted to do that. So this is 
my swap swap ease pocket letter. And I traced over the roses on the um, on the actual plastic with the Sharpie. And those are her goodies on the back. But I wanted to um, have the envelope match the pocket letter. So I made this. Oops, where did the little the thing with the flower? There we go. So this way, kind of hard to show you, sorry. Webcams are convenient, but they're not super high quality. So it goes in here and just to kind of protect it, I would say this is mailable. I'm still experimenting with that, but I wanted to send her something else. So that's why I'm going to put it all in a big, big mailer. So this is her pocket letter. And this, this is actually a, an extra, a gift for her. She had said that she likes pink. And I felt bad that I didn't have a pink pocket letter put together for her. So I made her, I'm calling this a pocket letter kit. So she can, once she makes a pocket letter, use this to either as a presentation folder or as a, a mailer. And then these are the background cards that would go in the pockets. So I cut up nine of those for her. So then she's then she's matching. So but then of course with this extra envelope I don't have room for it, you know, so I have to put it send it in a mailer. That's that's what where how all is started. So the all these stuff will this will fit in this one or whichever one I choose. So that's that project. So that's one thing I've been working on, stamping up and pocket letters and getting them working, working together. Uh, so I made a couple videos about making envelopes with stamping up project products. And another thing that's been on my mind is I've been watching um, video game, video game videos, video, gameplay videos, yeah, gameplay videos, and um, I've really been having fun watching this one guy, and I got a new video game, and I would love to record my gameplay and have it on YouTube, and I, that's, that's okay, I mean, that's allowed. Uh, I'd also, because other people have done it, and I asked them about it. Also, it would be really cool to do a live stream show, which I've seen people do as well. So I'm trying to sort out exactly what, what equipment I need for that. Um, you need software called OBS, I've got that, but I am pretty sure my, I'm going to need um, like a, a E drive, um, and actually some of the videos I've watched on OBS say keep them on keep it on a separate drive. So I'm going to need to get an external hard drive. I'm not sure exactly what size. Um, I can get one for one terabyte. That's not too bad a price. So what I, and I was reading last night on a forum that uh, you would, it would be difficult, well, it would slow down the computer if you had your game stored on the external drive because the information has to keep transferring, I guess. So I think what I need to do is put OBS on the external drive when I get it keep the games on C uh, yeah keep the games on C but move a lot of the other stuff I've got like OBS and any videos and things like that 
onto the external. I think that would work. See, because the games are going to need um, a lot of memory to play them. So it's a matter of just freeing up freeing up memory. So moving, you know, shuffling stuff around from... Right now I've got everything in this one box. And I want to add a little more. Well then everything's going to be all crammed up in the box. And it's not going to... It's going to make it really hard to move it around. It needs space to breathe. So then I'll need to get... Um, so that's why I need to get another... A separate box. A second box. So that I can spread my stuff out. I guess that explains it well enough. So I need to just decide which external hard drive I'm going to get. I think that's what it comes down to. Because then when I do my them, when I do those recordings, I'm going to make it fun. I'm going to have Nana Mellon and, uh, narrate an episode and Rennie Mae Humbucker and um, just, do, just do different voices. So I think that would make it more interesting. Um, have them like <laughs> City Skylines is a fun game and you actually can see the people your citizens and they they send you what they call chirps complaining about you know maybe the water being off or something like that so I was thinking I could have like uh, somebody Rennie Mae arguing and, and spreading and bad mouthing some of her citizens and <laughs> just make it kind of make it fun so that's, those are my thoughts, and I also got to get back to writing Little Miss Wilma Shirley. So, yeah, I think we're going to be, this is going to be a more productive month, I think, than April was. But April was good. Got Darla to the vet. That's a major accomplishment. <laughs> so take care, guys, and uh, thanks for listening to my very long, terrible video. <laughs> Please leave a comment. I don't care if it's mean. Just talk to me. Thank you. <laughs> Been July Lioness. Thanks for tuning in. Bye-bye.